Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. We're doing another unboxing today. So I'm gonna like wrap this up. I think between today and probably like Tuesday, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the rest of the series for um, the London Emily rings. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up because I realized nine rings, nine videos, and um, I be having other stuff I want to talk to y'all about. So we're gonna wrap this up sometime this week, and that's gonna be the last of that, and then we'll move on to something else. So, like I said, this is the review for London Emily. It's a small base. If you haven't seen the videos, it's a small base company somewhere in Denver, and she does necklaces and rings and. Uh, bracelets and things like that she had a link for like kids jewelry but it's nothing on it yet so I guess that's the next step that they're going to take this is the Disney inspired collection um today I am showing you another Beauty and the Beast ring the first Beauty and the Beast ring was really really pretty and it was like um <laughs> yellow and blue but this one oh uh, I think you guys are gonna like this one it's kind of gaudy I'm not even gonna lie but it's really pretty. So, this is the Beauty and the Beast ring. And it's a rose. It's red sapphires. All around the ring. How pretty is that? And it's a size 9. I think I got it in a 9. I, I bounced back and forth between 8s and 9s. So, this one is a 9. I thought it would be really, really pretty to sit it on top of some uh, Valentine's Day <laughs> decorations for you guys. Sorry, y'all. Luna huffing and puffing. Trying to figure out what's wrong with her. She looked out the window. I think she see another dog. She gets a little frustrated when she can't go out and play. So, I'm going to get Aaron to take the ring that I have on off. And then I'm going to try it on for you. So that you guys can see what it looks like on the hand. So, I ordered myself a ring specifically for myself. And um, it's from the same company, same Disney line, same um, Disney inspired line. And I've been wearing it. And it hold up pretty good. I mean, I caught the rings while they were on sale. Some of them were like $3. I think this one was 5 She had some other rings on there, but I was like, I try to like keep a budget for my channel when I do things like this. So if I was to order any of the other rings, they would have to be by themselves because they were like $20, $30. And I usually try to get like, clearly I got nine rings. So I try to get a lot for like a little. And it was no way that I was going to pay. Um, I think all together, all the rings together was like $56. And that was with shipping. So for nine, so for nine rings, I spent about... $56 and the reason that it was so much even though some of the rings were like five some of the rings were like um, Three the reason it was so much is because I put a rush on it So that they could be here in time for me to do these videos And it's really pretty and like I said, this is a nine these are um I think it's rhodium. Is that how you say it? Rhodium plated. And I will put the ring that I've been wearing on. This is Beauty and the Beast. I genuinely forgot the name of it. But if I can get the camera to focus for y'all. It's not being my friend right now. Guess it's just too much shine going on. Um... So, thank you, sir. So, I'm going to put my rings back on and show you guys the ones I've been wearing. They hold up pretty good. I'm not even going to um, put them on backwards. They hold up pretty good. 
Um, the rings that I have is uh, Aladdin, Whole New World, and it's a double. It's a double set. It's um, if you were using this for like a promise ring or something, it's a double set. So it's like the engagement ring and the the band. And it's um purple, blue, and then like this dark colored rhodium. So my advice for cleaning these rings, I'm gonna tell you guys. My advice for cleaning them, I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put her link in the description. So if you wanted to go get anything, so like if you're not a size eight or a nine and you cannot say anything to me about wanting the ring, then you can go buy your own in your own size so I will make sure that I leave the links in the descriptions um, when you clean them I would suggest um, a little bit of warm water some Dawn soap and like a soft bristle um, soft bristle toothbrush so that you can clean them um, I'm pretty sure if you wore these while you were doing a whole lot, they would eventually, you would lose a bunch of stones. Because like I said, they're not really expensive rings. So you want to make sure that you're taking them off when you're like putting lotion and stuff. So you can try to keep them as clean as possible. So maybe cleaning them once a week or so versus having to clean it like every day. You want to take it off when you're putting on lotions and um, any chemicals that you're dealing with. You want to take your ring off. Like I said, um... Any rings that you guys buy, any jewelry that you buy that's on your hand, you always want to make sure that you take it off before you handle like chemicals and lotions and things like that. Because not only are you going to dirty the ring up, you're going to make the material fade faster. Even, I mean, I think the only thing that's like the most durable is platinum. And um, if you're not living that platinum lifestyle, you want to make sure that you take good care of your jewelry, no matter if it's sterling silver, rhodium plated, or if it's like gold. You want to make sure that you're taking your stuff off before you shower and doing things like that. Um, or else you will ultimately end up, you know, messing up your jewelry. And it's the same. Same thing for these. They'll probably last really, really long. And they'll, you know, if you take care of them well, they'll probably last for a while. But I can't imagine how many places you would actually wear this. So, I mean, you know. It'll probably last for a while just because it's such a big piece and it's such a gaudy piece. That you would probably only really wear it if you were going somewhere special anyway. So this one would probably last for a while. So if you are new to this channel. And you like what you see. Please hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe. Comment. Share. Get the word out. And if you guys are not new, welcome back. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to be back with another video tonight. And then tomorrow, we are going to get together and do our powwow over the recap of Love After Lockup. So I love you guys. Hopefully, I will see you tomorrow. And if it is raining where you are, please be safe. Please be dry. Please be warm. Go be great. I love you.